Why hello there everybody and welcome to the second channel where today I'm going to be showing you my camera gear because I just took it all out of my camera bag. I was on a photo shoot yesterday and the day before which was my birthday and uh, I like how it looks all laid out the nice and neat way that I've put it. So anyway without further ado let's head on over to the camera gear. It's a pretty interesting looking lot of stuff. We'll start from uh, left to right back to front I think uh, starting with this uh, it's a 10 centimeter flexi leg tripod, you know, standard tripod mount there. These legs flex out and they bend kind of like that. It's uh, really useful for just getting uh, low angle shots, uh, also useful for using kind of like a selfie stick if you can imagine the camera on top of there pointed at my face. Uh, that, that's pretty much all I use it for and it's also really useful for setting up my uh, smaller camera for long video shots while I'm taking photographs and uh, smaller quicker shots with my uh, my bigger camera. Uh, if we head over to the back we've got some lenses starting with this little thing. This is an Olo clip. it's one of my favorite little devices for my smartphone. It's got a wide angle lens, a fisheye lens and two macro lenses and it just sort of slides over the camera on my iPhone. Uh, let's see if I can actually get this to slide over while I'm doing this. There we go, like that. So I think that should be the wide angle lens and you put the, the Olo clip thing on there at the moment, which is kind of unfortunate. But if I were to swap it over, you'd get more of the fisheye look and uh, still I've got the lens cap on there, but that's the Olo clip. It's quite nice, it's quite handy, and um, it's just nice for taking, you know, quick little Instagram shots. Uh, with some funky looking angles, etc. I actually used it to take a really nice photo of my eye, or rather a friend of mine did a nice macro shot of my eye, which I'll just throw up on here now because it's pretty cool. Uh, moving back, we've got, uh, this is the uh, Canon EF-M 22mm pancake lens. Uh, there's some of the details that you've got on the sides of the lens. It's a f2.0 lens. Uh, it works with the Canon EOS M and also the M3. The M3 is a new camera that's out and I'm hoping to get my hands on, a, on one actually just to give it a bit of a test. But anyway, moving on, we've got this in here is a, uh, if I can get it open, I'll just casually remove it from the camera view. Uh, this is the Canon Speedlight 90EX and that goes on top of the Canon EOS M, which is this one here. I'll point it out in a bit more detail in a little bit, but it's just a very simple omnidirectional flash, uh, there's no diffusing on it, uh, I've got to try and figure out a way to do that properly, I'll just put that back there for now though. In here, uh, whoop, this little tiny little pouch here, we've actually got a uh, remote shutter release also for the EOS M, although it'll work with a lot of Canon DSLRs, which is kind of nice and funky, you know, just sort of take a photo with this bit here rather than actually putting your hand on the camera, it reduces camera shake, especially when it's on a tripod, things like that. Moving on again over here, we've got the uh, the Canon EFM 18-55mm lens with image stabilization. Uh, quite a nice, this is this is the uh, the kit lens basically, this is the basic kit lens for the EOS M and also the M3 as I understand it. And this is a, mo a very versatile lens for particularly photography, but it's also quite useful for, for video work where having uh, the aperture priority uh, is not 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 actually what you're looking for. So you're not looking for the uh, f2.0 here. Uh, this is a, I think f3.5 minimum. Uh, anyway, we've got my uh, my Rude Video Mic Go here. You just plug it into a DSLR and it gives you a nice shotgun mic sound. I've got in here. This is actually a uh, Rode Smart Lab. It's designed to work with uh, smartphones. Um, can't actually take it out because it'll just unravel everything. But there's also a very long extension cord on there as well and that was for use when I was using my iPhone for my YouTube videos. I used to have to use a Rode Smart Lab and in fact for a long time my channel trailer on my main channel still had me using the Smart Lab long after I'd upgraded to this, although I recently reshot that channel trailer when I did a relaunch. Uh, coming back across here we've got of course the Canon EOS M body. It's quite a nice little body although I think the M3 uh, honestly it looks like it's a little bit uh, better to hold in the hand with the hand grip here. I mean it comes out a little bit further than just this little raised bump here for your hands. That's obviously where the lenses go. Put a quick mode dial switch up here. It's only got three modes on the mode dial. You've got like an auto video and photo. You've got a dedicated photo mode, dedicated video mode, uh, dedicated video record button, menu button, play button, all of this. There's a 
This is a selector dial for changing things like your shutter speed and your aperture. Um, it's not very easy to use, I'm not going to lie, but uh, the touch screen, it's a 3.5 inch touch screen that's quite good, so I just use the touch screen most of the time. Uh, I got hot shoe mount and uh, stereo mics on the top, although they are rubbish. Do not use them. Do not use the stereo mics. Get an external microphone like the Rode Video Go. It's a hundred. It's a hundred bucks. It's well worth it. Uh, moving to the left again, we have the Canon S120. This is the smaller camera I was talking to you guys about before. It's a very nice lens. A minimum aperture. Uh, sorry, maximum aperture is f1.8, which is quite nice. Uh, it's got a touch screen on the back as well. It's got a mode dial up here, which is you know got small modes than the than the USM has on its dial. You know, you've got order, aperture priority, shutter priority, program, manual, video, etc., etc. All those you know lovely nice things. It's also got the same selector ring on the back here. You can see it. It's actually changing the uh, the shutter speed right now. Uh, it's in terms of the physical buttons and the way you use it, it's a lot better than the USM. Uh, so again, I think the USM 3 has some better functions on there. I might end up picking up the body for myself at one point. Uh, but moving on, just got some spare batteries. The grey one's for the S120, this one's for the USM. Some spare SD cards. I've got two 8 gig ones just for like rubbish photos I want to take on the go if I run out of space. And this is a 32 gigabyte card. That's a fast card. Um, that I use for video. I also have a 32 gig card in this and a 64 gig card, very fast card, in the USM, uh, which I use for mainly vlogging, but of course it's got photos on there as well. Uh, we've got my SD card reader, which also does a variety of other things, including CF cards. Uh, that's, that's just, a, it's an SD card reader. Uh, I've got myself an audio recorder that I picked up in 2012, end of 2012, for my journalism degree, uh, it's nothing fancy. It only outputs uh, WAV files, I think, or maybe it's uh, w Windows Media files, or just like WMA. Can't quite remember. I'm hoping to eventually upgrade this for the Zoom H4n, but that's very expensive. Uh, not something I can afford. But anyway, this has got, you know, simple controls on here for recording, stopping, etc. And it's got a little kickstand here, actually, which I think is quite nice because you can sort of have it angled up towards whoever is talking if you're not using an external microphone, which it does have an external mic port for, and this works with the uh, Smart Lab, so that's probably what I would use it for most of the time. And then finally down the front, uh, this is just the, uh, the, the neck strap for the uh, EOSM, but it's got this attached to it, which is just a tiny little lens-like looking device, but if you pop open this cap, it's got a lens cleaning cloth on the inside, that's pretty much it. So. Uh, there you go, that is my camera gear. Um, don't really know why you'd be interested in seeing any of this, I'm not exactly a pro photographer or a pro video blogger or anything like that, but I thought I'd detail it for you, this isn't going to be cut video or anything like that, I'm just going to upload the raw file. Because I'm bored, basically, I'm about to sit down and write an idea for a main channel video, so stay tuned for that, otherwise you can check out all of my links to all of my social media things in the description of this video. And beyond that, I'll just see you guys later. Goodbye, internet.